premier media in Johannesburg, this is the Real Economy Report. In the first corporate academic partnership of its kind, consumer goods manufacturer Unilever South Africa and WITS have announced a collaborative skills development program that aims to provide promising engineering students with practical work experience and a premium academic qualification. Engineering News' Natalie Grieve attended the launch of the program at Unilever's Kainisa factory to find out more. As part of the flagship initiative, which was supported by a statutory body, the Chemical Industries Education and Training Authority, or CHITA, 30 WITS engineering students that had completed their second or third year of study would this year be employed full-time at Unilever's new 1.4 billion rand Kinesa plant on Johannesburg's East Rand. The students would form part of the factory operations team for the duration of their year of employment, providing them practical exposure to the production process and an opportunity to develop their technical and problem-solving skills. To ensure academic continuity, a lecturer would be appointed by WITS on behalf of Unilever to supervise and monitor the students for the 12-month period they were employed, as well as for their remaining one or two years of study at WITS to complete their qualification once they had completed their work experience. The lecturer would be responsible for ensuring students continue to be exposed to academic content and material while working to ensure a seamless transition back into academia in 2017. We forget that the reality of industry, how industry works, what you need to do to be successful is not obvious from the outside. Once you are within the system and you are making progress, everything makes sense. But we forget that before we started working, while we were at the early stages of our studies, we had absolutely no idea how the real world works and how industry, and in particular, how engineering works in the real world. This particular program is aimed at addressing that because by the time you guys are finished, the, over the next year, you will all be so much more aware of how the real practical world works and so many of the concepts that we are talking to you about will actually make sense. And if you understand the concepts, then you stand a much greater chance of actually being successful in your studies. Commenting on the program, which would be rolled out to other Unilever facilities should it prove successful, Head of Manufacturing for Unilever in South Africa and Southern Africa, Sandeep Desai, asserted at the launch that the company's over 4 billion rand investment in local manufacturing capacity would prove worthless if the skills to operate factories were largely absent. There's a lot going on in South Africa and it can happen with fundamentally great skills. Yeah? Great assets, great performance, whether you're a sports athlete, whether you're a mechanical engineer, whether you're anybody. Um, great performance comes out of great skills. You need to be an expert at the craft that you do. And I am so excited that today we come together between Unilever, the Cheetah, and Wits University to pioneer something which will hopefully change the way engineering is run in South Africa, will make much better engineers, much better engineers, whether people realize it or not, will have a fundamentally different impact on our economy and will change the fundamentals of South Africa going forward. Other news making headlines this week, the Chinese economic slump is not the precursor to Africa's demise and people to talk to their cars following Volvo Microsoft deal. While China's economic growth languishes at 25-year lows, Standard Bank Joint CEO Sim Shabalala says the transition from an investment-led to a consumption-based growth model could spell good news for the continent in the longer term. China's switch from an investment-led to a consumption-based growth model is actually good news for Africa in the longer term. The World Bank's modelers think that over the next 15 years, the negative impacts will be far outweighed by the positive changes. The net effect of the evolution of the Chinese economy towards consumption will add 4.7 percent, that's $181 billion, to Africa's GDP by 2030, compared to China's current path, while Kenya, Botswana, and Nigeria will be the biggest winners, with only Zambia likely to experience a small net loss. Vehicle manufacturer Volvo Cars and technology group Microsoft are launching a voice control system that will allow Volvo owners to talk to their cars using the Microsoft Band 2 wearable device. You can now watch Volvo's video which demonstrates how the technology works.
Send the meeting address to my Volvo. Start the heater in my Volvo. Prepare my Volvo. That's Kruma Media's Real Economy Reports. Join us again next week for more news and insights into South Africa's real economy.